everyone, it's Matt from Atomic Reviews as well as Root Beer Library. So uh, I have two channels. Um, Root Beer Library is something that I started recently. Uh, Atomic Reviews has kind of gone through a couple different name changes and that started about six, seven months ago, maybe eight months ago. And I get questions occasionally. I get DM'd like, hey, you got a really nice set or you know, the background looks really cool, but what's that look like? You know, what's your workstation look like? And if you go back to any of the older videos from uh, Atomic Reviews, it would become it would be called Atomic Darts back then, but you find it under Atomic Reviews. Just look at the newer, not newer, but older videos. You'll see like my old office. Um, and you kind of see that backdrop. We tried doing a couple things there. Uh, we were blessed with the opportunity to move into a new house about four months ago, five months ago. And um, that's where I set up this backdrop that you kind of see behind me. Uh, essentially, it's just our garage. So you can see behind me this kind of halfway decent looking, you know, office type backdrop. But really, um, there's our washing machine. There's the door to my house. You know, this is, hey, look, we got laundry hanging out. I got a fridge. And so my wife basically said, hey, you want to do this? You need an office space. Garage is yours. But I got to put other stuff in there occasionally. So that's kind of how that goes. I mean, like right now, I got to switch out the dryers. So there's a dryer that needs to take place of the other dryer because I'm not dryers. But people ask occasionally, hey, what's it look like? So this is really what it looks like in here. Just kind of give you a quick tour. So my lights aren't always set up, which kind of sucks for me. They kind of hang out in that corner along with the elliptical. And I move that stuff around almost daily so I can throw darts. Uh, I like to throw at the soft tip. I try and do that daily. And then the steel tip's always in there. I got to show this off because this was from this morning. But those of you doing the darts. It's a nice 180. That's how I closed out my morning session. It was nice, but I do have a somewhat decent Funko collection. Currently, I have all the uh, Arrow or Green Arrow characters. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, got a couple, a couple more hanging out up there. So this is really kind of it. Um, if you pay attention to the Atomic Reviews, I'm getting ready to cut these in half. We're gonna take a look at these. Um, that's gonna happen in the next couple of days. I'll get that video out next week. But we're gonna cut this older 80s unicorn board. And then I've got the, um, the dual cord and the blade five, just standard. And we're gonna cut those and see what those look like on the inside. So that should be kind of exciting. Um, let's see, I got some product here. Cause I do have a darts website atomic darts which we're contemplating how we're going and what direction we're going to do with that but there's some of the product mix for that there's some sitting down there um, and then i've got boxes full of product and boxes under here and over there and all kinds of stuff um, here's a couple jerseys just some players that i happen to like uh, um, there's some more funko pops up there and then this is one of my favorite bands sidewalk profits Got to see them in concert and they hooked me up with, uh, well, I bought the shirt, they signed it, it was pretty cool. Uh, I did the VIP with them and that was really a lot of fun. Some more of my fun, you know, the Funko stuff. Um, I am a huge Chiefs fan, gotta rock the Chiefs, but I'm also a football fan, so I happen to own one stock of the Green Bay Packers. Um, I own an NFL team, I can say that, I'm pretty stoked on that. I was the past president of CREA here in San Diego, so I'm a home inspector by day, YouTuber by night. Um, and this is kind of my setup. Sorry for the noise in the background. That's our water pump. My wife is filling up water bottles. Um, Brian Sumner is a professional skateboarder here in California. And these are decks that uh, I got from him that are signed, some of our special edition. And I really like that guy, a great skateboarder, but really just a good man of God and really puts it out there, works with the kids. And so that's kind of my little, I don't want to say homage to him, but that's just definitely, I just love that part of the wall. Um, and right here is, some point this out here, Think. So this is from Think Media. If you guys want to know kind of where I get some of my, I don't know how to put it, where I'm learning how to do some of this YouTube stuff and social media stuff, 
I really follow this guy, Sean Cannell, and the, the Think Media team. If you just look that up on YouTube, uh, you'll just find all kinds of great information from them, from equipment, like I figured out how to buy my first bit of equipment from them, as well as how to work the whole YouTube process, getting my first video up. And I was just at a live conference with them. It was called Grow With Video Live. It was last week. It was just off the hook. It was so much data, so much information. It was so awesome. Uh, really love that they put that event on. Looking forward to being able to spend more time with them occasionally at different events, as well as just continuing to learn from them. So I highly recommend that you check out their stuff. Um, being that I'm posting this video, I'm gonna put some links down below to how you get in touch with him, because if you wanna do YouTube, or if you're doing YouTube, or just getting started like me, definitely a great group of people to learn from. They're gonna teach it to you right. They don't sell you on, oh, you do this, and you'll have a you know, a thousand likes or followers or whatever. It just doesn't happen that way. They, they teach it right. So very stoked that I came across them and have kind of put them as, in a sense, my mentor uh, for in regards to YouTube. So very stoked on that. So um, did want to show this off. This is the new Razer, uh, the Turbo Jets. So they sent me a set of these. I'm still getting used to um, riding them. They're sitting right down here. Um, I'm really trying to figure out how to ride these things. They're super fun, but I don't feel comfortable enough putting it on camera. Uh, I'd probably do a blooper reel with them. But hopefully in the next week, I'm gonna work with them a, a lot in the next couple of days so I can get that video out for them. One of the other things I just got in today was uh, the new Daytona uh, Fire GT by Target. So these just released today. Really excited to have gotten those in. Did some pictures earlier. Gonna be doing a review on those as well. Gonna have a really busy weekend. I got like five, six videos I wanna shoot. Plus I need to shoot my batch set for next week on root beer library because I try and do all of those kind of in one day. Um, and then I got in some of the new Rob Cross. These are the 80% tungsten. Um, so I'll be looking at those as well. So just some dart stuff that I got in. In regards to Rupert Library, of course, I've got that little deal that came in. I thought it'd be kind of fun to take a look at that. I've done it before. It's the, the Root Beer kit. Um, something I do want to show you if you're familiar with Root Beer Library um, or if you want to be familiar, come over here. So my fridge, my wife loves this because it's always stacked. I got this shelf. Normally this shelf is pretty full of Root Beer, but I got that shelf down there. The door's full. This is some uh, Root Beer barbecue sauce that I made last night and I actually shot a video of that. That'll be up next week so you guys can learn how to make a really nice root beer barbecue sauce. And then I'm also going to be doing some of the new M&Ms. I don't know if you can see that really well, the lighting, but uh, the M&Ms came out with um, some new flavors for the season. So we'll be tasting those on Root Beer Library. So just some stuff that I got going on for each channel. And we're gonna be doing some dart stuff and looking at some more razor related items. Um, those guys are have been really nice working with me as far as the, uh, sending me some product and uh, allowing me to purchase some product uh, at a wholesale type price so that I can, one, play with it, because I like to play with things, um, but also so that I can get some reviews out. I just don't want to stack a bunch of razor reviews up because it is a darts related channel uh, that where we're reviewing darts related materials on Atomic Reviews. So I don't want to stack a bunch of those things up, but I think those are really cool items. I think what they do as a company is really neat. And with Christmas coming up, if you play darts, you probably have kids or you probably want to play around with toys anyway. And those are cool ones to mess with. So there's a look at some of the things we have coming up, just kind of give you a behind the scenes look in regards to that. And then you got to see um, kind of what my office looks like slash studio slash garage slash the kids are in here playing all the time messing around with stuff. So real quick, point that out. That is my lovely wife, getting some glare there. But that's my wife putting up with me from way back in the day. She's awesome, she puts up with this whole thing. Um, she thinks I'm crazy, uh, not her gig, but 
she lets me do it. She understands what the potential is. And more importantly, she understands that I'm having a blast. I'm having fun doing these reviews um, and testing out the product as well as doing the root beer stuff. She knows that that's just a passion of mine, especially the cooking aspect. And she's, she's totally behind me on all of that. Do you want to give another real quick shout out to, I guess, my mentor, Sean and Heather and the, the team, Benji, and, the, and everybody there at Think media. I uh, never really thought I would have a mentor, so to speak, other than you know maybe a guy or two that I hang out and talk to. But I really do look up to them in regards to what they're doing on YouTube. And so just kind of pushing that a little bit here. And just want to make sure that you check out those links down below and check out what they've got going on. Just really good, good people. So thank you guys. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.